Welcome to our channel. Do you want to make a detailed and fast site model? In this tutorial, we will give you about 8 free plugins to model a site in SketchUp. If you're ready, let's get started. Before importing in SketchUp, we will look at the commands we use in AutoCAD. The first command is overkill. The overkill command allows us to clean the drawing if there are overlapping lines. We selected the drawing and entered the command. After editing the delete settings, we can click OK and apply the command. The second command is flatten. Flatten command makes 3D drawing to D. The command brings all the points in different Z planes to the zero planes in. We selected the drawing and entered the command. OK. The drawing is ready to model. We saved the drawing. Let's import the drawing into SketchUp. Click on Import from File and select the AutoCAD file. We'll add a surface to this drawing, which consists only of lines. As you know, this cannot be easy in very complex projects. The lines are not closed, and the surface is not formed. We tried to create a surface by drawing lines on lines. As you can see, the drawing didn't completely close. We will use the Make Face plugin for this. You can open this plugin by right-clicking on the toolbar. If you haven't met this plugin yet, you can access this toolbar from the extension warehouse. You can install it for free after logging in. We select the entire drawing and press the Make Face plugin. You can repeat this process until the whole drawing is closed. This plugin is great. All lines are closed and surfaces are formed. We correct the reverse surfaces by right clicking on the surface and selecting reverse faces. Before raising surfaces, I set the unit of my drawing in CM. Window. Model Info. Unit. Now we can start creating the topography. We raise the isohips lines drawn every half meter by entering the value of 50. CM. Topography was created. Now let's edit the building drawing layer. We close the lines. If you want, you can use the Make Face plugin. Put the layer in place. Put the buildings in topography.
Raise buildings with the push-pull tool. We correct the reverse surfaces. Now let's add a road. We will use our other plugin, Curveloft, for this. You can open this plugin by right clicking on the toolbar. If you haven't met this plugin yet, you can install it from the extension warehouse. In this plugin, we will use the Curveloft Loft Along Path tool. Let's try this tool in a basic example. Draw a surface. Place this surface at the beginning and end of the shape. We can use different surfaces. Then, draw the line that will connect these two surfaces. Make sure that the surfaces are not grouped. Select the drawing and click Curve Aloft to the loft along the path, shape formed. Let's make a road now. Draw a surface. Place this surface at the beginning and end of the shape. Then, draw the line that will connect these two surfaces. Make sure that the surfaces are not grouped. Select the drawing and click Curve Aloft the loft along the path. Road formed. Let's make our third plugin 1001 a bit tool. You can open this plugin by right clicking on the toolbar. With this tool, we will quickly add roofs to our buildings. We will use the automatically create hip roof from a face tool from the toolbar that opens. We select the surface where the roof will be added and click on the create hip roof tool. After making the settings such as roof pitch and overhang, we call a create hip roof. Let's continue making the roofs of other buildings in the same way. If there is a failure in the roof, it may be because of the broken lines. But if you join the lines, the problem will be fixed. We can make parapet roofs with the offset tool. We can also add depth with the push-pull tool.
Process completed. Let's edit the layers. We'll take buildings, topography, road to different layers. We open the new layer from the Tags tab and change the layer of the group in the Entity Info tab. Now let's add the windows. For this we will use the Window Builder plugin. You can access this toolbar from the extension warehouse. You can open this plugin by right clicking on the toolbar. We use the rectangular window tool from the toolbar and edit the windows. Settings. After clicking on Create and Place, we add it to the surface of the building. We can duplicate the window by holding down the Control key. If you want to make multiple copies, you can produce as many copies with a number. If we want to empty the inside of the window, we can use the wall puncher tool from the same toolbar. Let's add a balcony here. We can add French window with Window Builder plugin. Let's add a railing. We will use the Madge Rail plugin for this. You can access this toolbar from the extension warehouse. You can install it for free after logging in. This plugin is not available in the toolbar. You can only access it from extensions. After making the railing settings in the window that opens, we say OK. We draw the line of projection of the railing. Finish by double clicking. We can duplicate the balcony by holding down the control key. If you want to make multiple copies, you can produce as many copies with a number. Let's keep adding balconies. Let's make an oval balcony.
Let's add a railing with the Madge Rail plugin. If we draw the projection line short, the railing will be circular. Now let's see how to add a window to this oval surface. We will use the Shape Bender plugin for this. We draw a line of projection on the surface where the window will be placed. Then we draw a surface parallel to the X and Y axes. We place the window we created with the Window Builder plugin on this surface. We can move the window to the projection line level. Draw the line at the bottom of the window. Select Window. Click the Shape Bender button. First select the line at the bottom of the window, then the projection line. You can adjust the position with the arrow keys. That's it. We continue to detail the buildings. We're done with the buildings. And now it's the turn of the land. We want to delete this excess part of the land. We will use a new plugin for this, Sandbox. You can access this toolbar from the extension warehouse. You can open this plugin by right-clicking on the toolbar. We draw the line that will cut the land. We bring it above the place to be cut. After selecting the line, we click on the project edges from a selected face onto a terrain tool from the plugin. After clicking on the terrain, the projection of the line will occur. We can delete the remaining parts. Let's green the land. For this, the scatter plugin which has a 15 day trial version, provides ease. You can access this toolbar from the extension warehouse. We will distribute these plants on the land with scatter plugin. First of all, we select the piece of land we want to be greened and group it. You can open this plugin by right-clicking on the toolbar. We click on the new composition tool from the plugin, and the setting window opens. First we need to add a host. For this, we click pick a surface to scatter objects. Now it wants us to choose the floor. Select the surface. You will see the scatter density with the red dots. Now we add the plant to be scattered in the scattered objects tab. We choose the piece of grass. Click Done. The plant has been added to the list. We will make the settings.
Click Generate and see the result. You can delete some places to make it look more natural. Now let's add the other plant, add a host. Choose the floor. Choose the plant. Click done. Make the settings. Finished. You can delete some places to make it look more natural. We'll add the tree. Add the other tree. You can add them to the places you marked with pick positions to insert. Object set under the host tab. Choose the plant. Click done. Make the settings. Finished. Finally, let's look at how we're going to do a natural land instead of land stepped. We will use the sandbox plugin for this too. Enter the group. Select all terrain. Click create a terrain from a set of selected edges in the plugin. You can create amorphous shapes with this tool. That's it. In this video, you met 8 different free plugins that will help you in SketchUp. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask us in the comments. Also, follow and don't forget to turn on the bell. See you next video.